animals see and hear. Well, this ties along with the body parts that we talked about yesterday. We looked closely at the caiman and we talked about his eyes, how you probably can see better with his eyes. Um, however, if you notice, there was no ears on this caiman. Well, the caiman does have ears. However, they're very hard to see. Animals see and hear. How do you find your way from home to school? You see where you are going. You hear what is happening around you. Animals see and hear too. Some animals see and hear much better than people do. So people hear and we see. And if you think about when you're going someplace, maybe it's from your house to the school or home and you're on the bus or in your parent's car, um, when you're going home, some of the places look familiar. The reason why they look familiar is because you have seen them before. So we do use our eyes um, to help us figure things out on a regular basis. We also use our ears. Um, if you close your eyes and you just listen, right? You close your eyes, you can't see anything. I bet you'll be able to identify some of the sounds you hear because you've heard them before. So let's take a closer look. Chameleons can move their eyes separately. They can see in every direction around them. You can't see a chameleon's ears. It can't hear very well. So here's the chameleon. See his big eyes? You can't see his ears. It's kind of like the caiman. Remember, we really couldn't see where his ears were. Um, they don't stand out. So that tells us that they probably can't hear very well. Uh, chameleons and caimans probably can't hear very well. Okay, They use their eyes more to see. Um, they can move their eyes separately. That means that this eyeball can look up and this eyeball is looking down. So it can choose what um, where his eyes are going to look. Now people move their eyes together and some animals move their eyes together but chameleons however they can see really well and one of their abilities is that they can move their eyes in different directions. Hey, this is a, a, the ghost green crab. The ghost green crab can see all around itself, but not as clearly as, as you see. Crabs do not have ears. They feel sound with tiny hairs on their bodies. Okay, so here's his eyes. Okay, um, and he can't see as clearly as we can, even though his eyes are kind of like sticking up. Um, and he has no ears. However, you notice he's got a lot of hands here. Okay. And he has tiny hairs on his body. Those tiny hairs are what helps them to feel sound. So instead of being able to hear the sound, they can feel the sound vibrations on their body. And that's how they know um, that something is coming or um, that danger is nearby. Okay, and then we've got this guy. It's kind of cute. Ring-tailed lemurs have big eyes and ears. They can see and hear very well. So he's got big eyes, right? And that's an indication that he can um, see very well. And then here's his big ears. His big ears, they help capture the sound waves, which we kind of talked about before when we talked about sound, right? The bigger something, it, the bigger our ears are, right? Just like when we put our hand to our ears, the more sound waves we can capture, which allows us to hear better. So he can hear very well. Now take a look at his eyes and look at our caiman's eyes. Remember? Now, if we say his eyes are very big and helps him to see well, do you think the caiman probably can see well? I think so too. Okay. Um, while we're on this page too, let's just point out some of the body parts again. If you notice that our chameleon has arms. Okay. So he's got some legs, arms and legs. This guy, he's got lots of legs and arms. Okay. You see his arms. Okay. He has a nose too. Do you think he can smell well? I don't know. 